Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the Eco Design Initiative and obviously particularly about Eco Design Hobbits which are now available. So the Eco Design Initiative was basically brought in a few years ago and it comes into force on the 1st of January 2022. So any new installation after then it needs to be an Eco Design stove. And that stove basically has got better at uh, reducing the particulate emissions, it reduces the harmful gases and there as a consequence greater inefficiency. So it's been a great initiative, it's been trickier to get um, your stove to jump through that hoop. So <coughs> we've achieved it and this is our Eco Design Hobbit. So there are a few differences and we'll talk you through them now. So the, the main difference between the old stove and the eco stove is the introduction of a new preheated tertiary air system which means that there's warmed air coming in at the back of the stove and being fed in to the top of the fibre which basically burns up those harmful gases and the particulates. So that's the main, the main difference in terms of the air feed. There's also an enhanced preheated secondary air um, so you've got better secondary combustion and better uh, glass air wash uh, function and the the main difference that those two features additional features where we've tweaked them that uh, they've had is to basically bring the controls of the stove forward so now we've got the controls for the tertiary air here and the secondary hair secondary air here so in the old stove the secondary air was at the rear corner uh, and on a quite a tight fireplace this could often be an issue so with the new stove because we're controlling the airflow from the rear we've brought the controls forward to the front which makes that access um, a lot easier. The other difference is basically we've improved the grate inside the main great at the base of the stove we've improved to maintain that multi-fuel capability I think that's important especially for people on boats etc who use a lot of uh, solid fuel uh, keeping a multi-fuel capability was quite important well, we've also made a small tweak inside underneath in the ash compartment where we've got um, a couple of feeds fitted to the underside of that grate that basically uh, push the spent ash direct it more into the ash pan. Previously there was a bit more overspill so we sort of tried to stop that by putting on these guides in on the on the main grate. So the rest of the stove is identical obviously all the dimensions are the same everything about it in terms of the options is the same it's just that we've tweaked it with that tertiary air to produce greater efficiency which is now 81.4 percent a greater reduction in those harmful gases now down to 0.9 0.09 uh, per microgram of cubic meter air and it's a much better functioning stove I think in terms of that ability to burn up all of those harmful gases and particulates. So we'll get it going in a second and we'll show you the controls the tertiary and secondary and the primary and how they affect the burn inside the new stove. So I've, I've lit the Eco Hobbit and it's basically just the same as lighting the old stove in, in as much as that you want the controls open, so the primary air wheel open and now I can show you the new controls. You want the controls in the open position to be to the right, so that's over to the right. So the tertiary air, this control to the right and the secondary air to the right, the primary wheel open. And you want that uh, fire to get going a little bit so you get some heat in the flue and you affect the draw. So once that's those just got going a little bit I'll then show you how adjusting the controls affects the burn inside the stove and how you, the stove is very very controllable in the speed of burn that you want. So while that's warming up a little bit I'll just refresh those things that you actually get with your Hobbit stove. So with every Hobbit we supply the multi-tool which operates the doors as such and also the Riddler over here and now obviously the also operates the controls underneath so that comes with every Hobbit as does an ash pan which is behind this door obviously you can have a couple of ash pans if you'd like one that's on the go and one that's full up but the tool engages with the ash pan like so so you can obviously take the draw in and out. So the ash pan and the tool come as standard and for a short while only we're offering the Spitfire stovepipe thermometer 
which attaches to the stovepipe here and a box of wood wolf highlighters 50 of them so the stove's been running now for around about 10 minutes so it's a bit warmer and the flue's working better so we'll show you now all of the controls are now open so i'll close them off and we'll show you the various effects of introducing each one secondary tertiary so instantaneously the fire goes down so the tertiary air you see the jets coming in at the top of the stove that's the new the new air inlet this is the secondary air and an addition of the primary air and within seconds the fires back to how it was so again so to set the fire up once it's been running a while you'll wind these controls in to various positions to get the required burn rate you want There we go, got it running nice and sort of moderately slowly. Less air in all these areas will reduce the burn rate even more. Introduce it again when you want to kick the fire back up. So our new little Eco Hobbit, um, we think it's obviously more in tune with nature and is available now. Uh, There'll be the same two versions available, the standard version or the DEFRA approved version if you're living in a smoke controlled zone. The differences between the two are marginal, uh, the main one being that the controls are configured on the DEFRA model so that even in that closed position there is a certain amount of air still being allowed in because in an urban environment they don't want you to, to run the stove in the fully closed position because obviously it's going to produce more particulates. So they're configured thus to always allow a little bit of air in. Those are the, the, the two the main differences between the two models. There we go, that's it, our new improved little Hobbit, the Eco Hobbit.